to a potential new Haruhi anime announcement tomorrow, to Act Age's artist coming back to work on a manga in Weekly Shonen Jump, to a Transformers anime PV being worked on by Studio Trigger, the same studio that gave us Kill a Kill, and even more than that with like Kagura Bachi sweeping the awards and becoming the number one next big thing in the awards in Japan, it's legitimately been a crazy three days. All this news that just continues to come out and it's honestly just been so much to keep track of there's probably stuff that I'm honestly just completely missing or I'm unaware of or forgotten about because there's just so much so let's just let's start from the very beginning let's talk about Harahi this is a series that at this point a lot of newcomers to anime, modern anime fans, are probably really unaware of the significant impact and weight that this anime and this light novel series had many 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 years ago like we're talking a long time ago and i was there when it was airing i remember the endless eight i remember when the episodes were coming out and i was one of those watchers that watched the endless eight while airing yeah feel bad for me um the point of the matter is is that Haruhi holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts mine included, and it is something that has been referenced a lot in pop culture, as mainly in Japan, obviously, and it is something that, you know, was the go-to, like the, when people talked about light novels, when people talked about, like, slice of life anime girls, etc., you know, there was a few series that came to mind, but Haruhi was definitely one of those series that come to mind. Now, obviously, it's not completely slice of life. There's a lot more to it than that, but it's still the point that when there was a conversation piece about, like, school setting, slice of life type stories with a female character and a male lead and all that, Harhee definitely was brought up quite often. Now, even to the normal standards, even around that time period, Harhee was very popular in the anime and manga community space and light novel community as well, but it legitimately still was a niche series. It wasn't, let's say, quote-unquote mainstream as much as let's say Bochi is today and stuff like that because obviously going back a decade plus you know ago you know anime was very small the community was large but it still was very niche very small in comparison to what it is today in the 2020s and obviously because of that there is definitely a lot of people that are probably unaware of the impact Haruhi has so this announcement to make a long story short you know it's getting a lot of fans anticipating and hyped up for whatever this announcement could be now I do want to say temper your expectations because we have been down this route time and time again when it comes to announcements for instance like you know we have had pachinko machines mobile game announcements to just straight up an art exhibit and all that we have been just fooled continuously and for all we know the announcement that we're going to get tomorrow theoretically could just be one of those things but there is a very slim chance because obviously with the rise of remakes and reboots and stuff that we've seen in the last few years it's very possible that Haruhi could not just, let's say, get a continuation in the anime, but maybe just get a full-blown reboot slash remake. It is a very likely possibility. So, with all that considered, cross your fingers. Tomorrow could be an amazing day, or one of the worst days for Haruhi fans, we'll see. But, uh, I do hope it's a big announcement, because I feel like the series, at this point in time, with how long it's been, the fan base is more or less, they're there, but they're not really outspoken as much as they used to because obviously it's just it's been a very long time it's been a very long time since we had any form of new like anime content for Haruhi so I would hope to see that this is actually an official announcement now moving into the next segment we need to talk about this so there is a bunch of Shonen Jump series that were basically announced to be coming out let me actually show all of them here so basically we have this and this and there's three upcoming series as you can see here we have Madan no Ichi which is going to be made by Nishi Osamu and Shiro Usazaki, and then in the next issue, you have uh, Shinobi Koto by uh, Takegushi, uh, Takegushi and Mitarashi. I, I know I butchered some stuff, forgive me. And then the next issue, will have Hakutaku by Ishikawa. So, the first two upcoming issues are going to have an actual offer-artist combo, like an offer working on the story and an artist, you know, accompanying them. So, I feel like this is probably a healthy format. It definitely divvies up the workload, and I feel like it definitely helps out the, just the, the series 
in general because if an author is having to do the art and also the story there's a lot of like let's just say pressure put onto them not just to write a cohesive story but also to maintain the art quality and continue to improve their art quality while they write a weekly manga so I am glad to see more duos in weekly shonen jump as of late and I'm glad to see you know actually the uh the artist of act age returning to work on another manga because it's been three years maybe maybe even longer maybe four years at this point it's been, it's been a while basically since the the act age artist has kind of been in the spotlight and for those that are unaware or uninitiated let me let you know i'll let you in on the actual cold hard facts so act age was a manga a long time ago in weekly shonen jump that was incredibly popular like to put this in perspective it had the potential to be the next big thing it was building up it was a series that was doing basically the same thing that Oshino Ko is currently doing but if you want my honest opinion one-to-one -to, -one to each other did it better 100% act age did it better now obviously I do think some of the plot twist in Oshino Ko are pretty good don't get me wrong like the whole eye stuff at the beginning but the point of the matter is, is that Act Age, in terms of the themes of, like, entertainment and being an actor and all that, it was a very unique story. It was a very unique manga. And to make a long story short, the offer of the manga turned out to be a PDF file. Now, to make sure you understand, the offer is not the artist. The artist is an entirely different person, a.k.a. Shiro, that is coming back to work on this new manga with the Iramakun offer, which... Incredible news. I'll talk about that in just a second. But the point I'm getting at is, is that obviously thanks to the offer's overall controversy and scandal that happened, Shonen Jump completely canceled. They canned Act Age instantly. And there was a follow-up years later with this post and all that. Like, this was three years ago, as you could see. Basically, you know, after the charges, you know, the offer of Act Age got a suspended sentence, which I am still think that's a little bit of a slap on a wrist. But the point is, is that the series for Act Age was completely demolished. It was never coming back. And the artist of Act Age, which did incredible artwork, look it up. Like, seriously, just type in Act Age on Google, like manga, and you'll see some beautiful art. It is outright fantastic but basically the artist was left without a job and um pretty sad because they were a very breath of fresh air in terms of art within the magazine so years have passed and finally it seems like shiro you know the individual that was kind of also in this scandal they weren't a part of what the offer did but thanks to it they took blows to the face as well they're finally back to start working on manga which is just incredible news i'm glad to see the artist back and working with a very well-renowned and amazing offer at that the offer of iramakun and i have made videos talking about iramakun talking about the anime talking about the manga incredible manga one of the best manga i read when a chapter comes out it is it's fantastic. I cannot recommend Ira Makun enough. It feels like I take a trip back like two decades ago to read like a uh, some demon like high school type manga. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like I'm taking a time capsule when I read Irma. But I'm glad to see that the offer of Irmakun is going to be working with the Act Age artist and they're going to be making a manga in Weekly Shonen Jump. I hope the manga stands out. I hope it's really good. I'm definitely going to read it. I'm probably going to do a first impressions on it. So do look forward to that one. So moving into the next one, we got to talk about the other series. We have a few other series coming as well, which I also probably am going to be doing a video on and the reason for that is because well you know with Shonen Jump wrapping up My Hero Academia recently and Jujutsu Kaisen going to be ending in less than a month you know the next big thing needs to appear it needs to uh pop up because the magazine is definitely going to take quite a blow with its viewership which leads into the next main segment which is the Kagura Bachi stuff so Kagura Bachi it's something that's been going on now for a bit, and it is started off before it even had its first chapter. It was memed by the entire internet. It was just a major, giant shit post. That's what Kagura Bachi was before the first chapter even aired. I rem or came out, and I remember making a video talking about it. Well, we fast forward to today, and it's really gained a lot of traction, a lot of momentum, and it's actually you know gotten so popular it won the awards, the 2024 Next Manga Awards, which basically says that the community thinks that it is the next big thing in terms of manga, which is pretty telling. It, it just shows that it has a very active and supportive fan base. The cells of the volumes are incredible it is just continuously gaining momentum and i feel like shonen jump is probably going to take 
you know, obviously attention to this, and they're probably going to try to boost its popularity in some shape or form. I'm going to be honest, you're going to hear it here first. Kagurabachi anime probably is going to be announced in about a year or so, maybe even less, depending, but we're definitely going to be getting a Kagurabachi anime very soon. But, um, back into the main topic of Kagura Bachi, it's an incredibly popular series, and with the conclusion of My Hero Academia and Vin JJK coming up soon, a lot of the fan base might be searching for a new manga, and I feel like a lot of people are probably going to gravitate towards Kagura Bachi since it's relatively new, there's not as many chapters as other manga, so it would be relatively easy to catch up. So I could definitely see Kagura Bachi consuming those two large fan bases for its own. Now let's swing our way into the Transformers PV that we got for the 40th anniversary. It's more than meets the eye. Because when I saw this, it took me by surprise. I was just like, a Transformers anime in this day and age by Studio Trigger of all studios. Now, at this time, it, there's a lot to really take away from this. And I can't find a whole lot of concrete information about this. And so I want to clarify a few things. This is a 40th anniversary PV trailer that is outlined here. And it is being worked on by Studio Trigger. You can literally see the hashtag here. Studio Trigger worked on this. But the thing is, is when you look at this 40th anniversary, it is G1 Transformers. It is old school Transformers, and it implies that this is definitely going to be an anime coming out by Studio Trigger. But at this time, it doesn't clarify that it is an anime. I, I do want to make sure I say that, that this post doesn't say that a Transformers anime is happening, but it just says 40th anniversary PV trailer. So there's a lot of speculation, a lot of things going on. A lot of people assume this is a anime PV trailer. It probably is. I'm assuming it is with this coming soon, but I just don't know. I, I, I haven't had any concrete information as of yet. Nobody's fully confirmed from what I could see if this truly is an upcoming anime or not, or if this is just like, for instance, a PV trailer to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Transformers. Whatever the case may be, I'm very excited for this because Studio Trigger, fantastic studio. I mean, anyone that has seen their works, like Kill a Kill is a good example, knows for a fact that they know how to make a good show. I mean, they are fantastic at what they do. And so I think that them working on a Transformers anime is honestly, it's the best thing you could possibly ask for. It really is. It's right up their alley in terms of what they like to make, especially with space stuff and all that. This is definitely what they would love. So I really do hope this does turn into an actual anime in the future. But with that being said though, overall, yeah, a lot of information has come out. Kagurabachi stuff here as well, which this one is absolutely hilarious. People can do the funniest thing and uh, potentially draw an OC of Goku to go against. That'd be funny if that happens. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a fascinating past three days. All this information coming out. Hopefully all of you learned something new, something that caught your eye. But with that, be safe, stay healthy, and I love you guys. Chibi out.